there Swahili Nation family. Welcome back. I am Ungil Zalalem and this is Recap. More than 100 killed in Ethiopia's Oromia region. At least 200 Amharas were killed in Ethiopia's Oromia region, Wellagga. 200 people, mostly from the Amhara ethnic group, have been killed in an attack in Ethiopia's Oromia region, according to witnesses who blame the Oromo Liberation Army for one of the deadliest attacks in recent memory. The regional government in Oromia confirmed the attack but did not give details about casualty figures. This is truly sad. It's just hard to believe that people are capable of doing this to their own people and using ethnicity to justify what they're doing. These are over 200 people that were killed. For no good reason, they're innocent people just because they were from the Amhara tribe. This is really sad. I have no words. I pray for a better day for my country. And as an Ethiopian, I would like to ask our government, please protect your people. Please use your power and defend the innocent because that's part of the job as well. Granted, this government has done so much so far in a short period of time. We will not take that away from Prime Minister Abi specifically, but the government has a responsibility when it comes to acting swiftly to protect its citizens. This is truly a devastating report. China says it has zero tolerance for racism amid Malawi fallout. The Chinese government is working to prevent continued diplomatic fallout and protect its image in Africa after racist videos of African children made by a Chinese man living in Malawi surfaced this week. The BBC's investigative report into the videos found a man named Liu Qi who allegedly filmed African children unknowingly saying offensive things in Mandarin such as, I am a black monster and I have low IQ. The videos were sold on a Chinese website. The video went viral two weeks ago. A Chinese man was telling African kids to say in Mandarin, I am a black monster and I have low IQ. And them not knowing what they're saying, they were repeating it. He filmed it, he sold it to a website and he made money off of it. And the website is making money off of that video while people are entertained. Chinese people are entertained with this video. It's just really uh, unfortunate because it's so hard for me to understand how you can be entertained by this clip. Like there's something wrong with you. But now China is responding. They are working hard with their PR and they're trying to make it better. They're saying they have no tolerance when it comes to racism. Actually, this guy that was involved or the guy that filmed and posted it has now been arrested. And that's a good start because justice needs to be served. And these poor kids did not deserve what was done to them. And this degrading of Africans should stop. It actually should have stopped yesterday, but I guess today is better than nothing. So China is trying their best. They're actually offering Malawian scholarship, which I, I don't think is what we're asking for. We're, we're asking for respect. We're asking for Africans to be treated the same way that you would treat any other human being. So the scholarship for me, it's like, it's just PR. What matters is actually holding their own people accountable when things like this happen. Belgium on Monday handed over the last remains of Congolese leader Patrice Lumumba, his tooth to his family, turning a page on a grim chapter in its colonial past. Chief Prosecutor Frederick gave their relatives a small bright blue box containing the tooth in a televised ceremony and said the legal actions they had taken to receive their relic had delivered justice. Well, justice should have been not killing this bright man. He was only 35 years old when he was assassinated, when he was killed by this powerful nation. The US was involved, Belgium was involved. It's just sad because all he did was fight for his country and all he did was try to change the future of his country. But unfortunately, they saw that as a threat and they eliminated him. Now they're giving the casket containing the tooth. I mean, it's a start, but it's definitely not justice. 
dozens of teenage girls rescued from Nigerian baby factory. At least 35 teenage girls have been rescued from a baby factory hotel where they were used as sex slaves and their babies sold on the black market. In many cases, unmarried pregnant women are promised health care only for their children to be taken away. In other cases, women are violated and made pregnant. From the 35 teenage girls that they have rescued, four of them are pregnant and the rest um, either they got pregnant and they took away their babies to sell it and make money off of it or they were being assaulted uh, during the, their stay there. I'm so happy that they were rescued but unfortunately this is not the first time that this happened. A few years ago um, the police, the Nigerian police raided a place and they found 150 children and that's literally a baby factory. They assault girls and once they get pregnant, they take their babies and sell it and make money off of that. Such a cruel thing to do to young girls. And the girls, by the way, are from 14 to 18 years of age. Like those teenagers are kids themselves and they've been going through this. It's just really sad. Sometimes you look at people like this and you wonder, what happened to humanity. Anyways fam, let us know down below what your thoughts are about this week's recap. I am Ongil Zalalem. I'll see you on the next one. Bye.